Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sarah. I just got home from picking up the kids, going to the grocery store, and I'm thinking about Thanksgiving. I wanted to just shoot a quick film for you, very informal, about some of the foods that I'm thinking about and test driving for Thanksgiving. So I hope this is inspiring to you. I teach a detox twice a year, and in the detox, people go grain-free, they get off of gluten, they get off of dairy, et cetera, et cetera. And I think it's so important to figure out, okay, how do we take this style of clean eating into the rest of our lives? So I'm always on the lookout for new recipes and new ways of approaching traditional holidays, especially since the holidays are almost upon us. One of the things I'm doing right now is I'm ordering a turkey. I've been looking at different turkeys that are available because I think with Thanksgiving, that's a beautiful thing to start with. So we have my parents coming to town, plus a few others coming for Thanksgiving dinner. And I was just at Marin Sun Farms out in Point Reyes, or maybe it's in Alima, somewhere in that area here in California. And they have these pasture raised heritage turkeys that are non-GMO and they just sound like a really good bird. So in this case, the early bird gets the worm. We're ordering our turkey in advance probably like maybe 14 to 16 pounds. And I'm planning for the first time a grain-free dressing. So the stuffing is gonna be grain-free. So I'm really excited about that. I'll share with you any recipes or discoveries that I come up with. And then I, I was so honored today because I got to hang out with my friend Rebecca Katz, who's written four amazing cookbooks. And they're not just cookbooks, they're all about you know how you can take science and make it come alive in the kitchen and fall in love with cooking again. So I really love her books. My mother does too. And I just wanted to mention in her book, The Longevity Kitchen by Rebecca Katz, we have this amazing recipe for sweet potato bars. Don't those look so good? They kind of match the wall in the back of me, right? So I'm making these. I'm gonna make a few modifications because again, my Thanksgiving's gonna be green free and I am trying this particular recipe where the crust is made out of quinoa, almond flour, maybe coconut flour, a little grated orange zest, pistachios, unsalted pistachios, and some extra virgin olive oil. So I'm really excited about the crust. And then the filling, you know, the part that goes on these little bars is sweet potatoes, about a pound of sweet potatoes mixed with eggs and some organic plain yogurt also some cardamom and ginger, and some freshly grated nutmeg on top. So I'm really excited to test drive this. My daughter, my nine-year-old daughter, is really excited to cook it with me this afternoon. So I'll let you know how that goes. But I, I just wanted to record for you a quick video, hopefully to inspire you to think outside of the box as the holidays come upon us, and think about ways that you can bring your strategies, your clean eating, your ways of using your fork to balance your hormones, as you move through these very traditional holidays. So I want you to, to, I want to challenge you to really want the things that are best for you with these holidays. So that's what I wanted to share. Great to be with you. Thanks as always for being in the tribe. You mean so much to me and I will see you soon. I'll share my, uh, my wins and my losses in the kitchen in terms of test driving some of these foods for Thanksgiving. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.